friends, I had an idea for an epic new podcast. The story of a kid who got separated from his parents and must survive in the jungle alone. So with the help of many friends, we made it. Dad, it's me. I'm trapped down here in the Lost World. He said Lost World? I found out this hole and, and slid down this big, long tunnel. Right near where we camp, there's a hole in the ground. But what happened next is one of the biggest reasons I got my nickname. Miles the Brave. And I learned that you should never give up just because things look hopeless. Even when you're not sure what to do, you just never know what might happen if you keep trying. Miles the Brave is our exciting new original podcast made by Story Button. The entire season is available everywhere August 21st. So right now, make sure that you search for the podcast Miles the Brave and click follow. You are not going to believe what happens on this adventure. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here and welcome to Kids Animal Stories. A place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last episode, we saw that Penny the Pangolin was above ground hunting with her mom for the first time. Penny had been riding on her mom's tail because she didn't know her way around the African bush yet. Just when they were getting close to finding some ants for dinner, oh dear, Penny fell off of her mom's back. She was alone and very scared, but she remembered one very important lesson her mom had just taught her. To curl into a ball to protect herself. Do you know how to curl into a ball? I wonder if it would work as well, probably not as well as a pangolin because they're a mammal that has scales on them. Hmm, I don't have scales on my back, but hold on a second. Where's Penny's mom and what was that crunching noise? Let's see what happens next. What am I gonna do now? Thought Penny as the crunching sound came closer. Maybe it's a lion is after me, or a hyena, or maybe it's a giant elephant. Just when Penny thought she couldn't stand it any longer, she heard a familiar voice close by. There you are, Penny, said her mom in a kind voice. (gasps) It's only you, Mama. What a relief. I thought I was going to have to be face to face with a big predator, but... Wow, that's so scary, but I remember what you told me, and I use my scales like armor. Penny curled up in a tight ball to show her mom how she had protected herself. Wow, that's amazing, dear, said her mom. You are so brave. I knew you were ready to come above ground and hunt with me. Speaking of hunting, we should probably be on our way, right, mom? We have a lot of ants to eat tonight, and the sun is going to be up soon. You are right. Let's go. Pangolins are insectivores. Do you know what that word means? It's kind of a silly word. Insectivores. <laughs> it's an animal that eats only... Oh, wait a second. I'm not going to tell you. What do you think an insectivore eats? Do you think insectivores eat hamburgers? Or do you think they eat insects? <laughs> Yes, no cheeseburgers for pangolins. They eat only insects. An adult pangolin can eat up to 70 million. Yes, I said million. 70 million insects every year. Ants are pangolins' favorite meal, but they also eat termites too. What is your favorite food? Mmm, some delicious ants and termites? Gross. (laughs) Oh, do you think it'd be fun to have ants or termites for your dinner? I don't think so. Penny climbed back on her mom's tail, and they set off in search of insects once again. This time they decided to go around the thorny bushes instead of going through them. I think that was a very 
good decision, don't you? The pair followed their noses through the wilderness until they came upon a patch of red, sandy dirt between two trees. Here we are, said Mama Pangolin. There are loads of tasty ants here for our dinner. Mom, I... Hmm, I don't see any at all, said Penny. Of course you don't. That's because ants live underground like us, laughed her mama. Really? Then, okay, um, how do I eat them? We dig, replied her mom. Watch how I do it and you can give it a try. Penny observed carefully as Mama Pangolin scraped at the ground with her long front claws. The earth crumbled away to reveal, whoa, thousands of tiny scurrying ants and their tunnels. The pair used their long sticky tongues to (laughs) slurp up their dinner. Penny even tried using her claws to break open another part of the ant nest. For the rest of the night, they traveled through the bush, sniffing out insects and gulping them down. Penny was having a lot of fun, and she loved the taste of termites, especially. Mm, those were her favorite, but after all this excitement, <sighs> she was getting sleepy. As the sun started to peek over the horizon, Mama Penguin said it was time to go home. I'm glad, Mama. I'm less eaty, more sleepy. Mama Penguin smiled as she helped Penny climb onto her back. Soon they were on their way back to the burrow. The stars in the night were fading as the sun was getting bigger with each passing moment. Penny wanted to see what everything looked like in daytime. She'd never seen it before, but she could barely, barely keep her eyes open. She was so tired. Just then they turned around a tree and arrived at home. Penny slid down from her mama's back and walked sleepily back underground. With a full belly and a head still full of questions, she snuggled up to her mom and drifted off to sleep. I think she's going to dream about all those yummy ants and termites. What about you? Wow, on her first trip above ground, Penny learned that it can be scary to try something new, but it can also be really fun. She was brave and stayed safe by listening and staying close to her mom. When was the last time you tried something new? What did it feel like? you have a grown-up with you to help you feel safe? I hope so. The next time you are scared to try something for the first time, remember that with a grown-up's help, you can be brave and have fun just like Penny the Pangolin. The end. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Sebastian, who's turning five years old. Sebastian loves to creek stomp on sunny days, searching for crayfish and treasures. He also likes to ride his tough bike in puddles. Whoa, Sebastian, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy fifth birthday. Well, Critter Protectors, I hope you all have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.